Aha! Ah! Hey! Damn it, cheese. Why you do this to me? Uh, it seems the game audio, however, is not going through. Hmm. One second. What say you now? Yes, yes, there we go, there we go. Um, oh, I mean, that's just, of course there's tons of wires in it. It's just how the wires speak. But, let's see, where were we last time? Death and taxes. Death and taxes. Death and taxes. All right, so, we woke up. We had our, um, we had like a, a seven-day sort of trial period, although we had to work weekends. I don't know if we got time and a half for that. I probably, I don't think I did. I don't think I got anything extra. Hey, welcome on by Madeline. Mad Madeline. Thanks for making room in the Ziggurat. But, after completing our trial period, um, apparently things are still... Things are still... Uh, shenanigans are still up. So, um, this is going to be day eight. Maybe we can finally save up enough money to get some more um, bits and bobs for our desk. Perhaps we will get more outfits. Certainly would like to expand my selection of painted skulls and snappy shirts. So let's continue. Um, alright, so elevator. Yep, that's right. I use the arrow keys. Okay. Okay, okay. Thunder Emporium. Grim Office. Alright, alright, let's get this day started. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Alright. Get some get some squeaks for good luck. Um and uh now that we can change the music. This uh this song's a bit of a bop, but let's uh let's try something else. Hmm. This is eh, this is kinda too soft. A little bit too slow. What else do we got? Okay. More of a jazzy piano kind of thing. All right, let's see how that is. That's right. We we got a we got a sapient piggy bank. We'll uh we'll uh put him in the drawer for now. First time stopping by Olivia Avatar. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. Snakes are very fun creatures that are quite demonized, but they have a lot of personality. Let's see. <clears throat> From our boss. Morning Grim. A whole week already? Hi, the time flies. Well, more tasks. Straight ahead. I think we are making a difference, so let us continue with what we are doing. Quarter for the day. Three people left to die. Sparity humans aged 65, 35, and 60, if possible. Keep it up. Fates. Um. Alright, so we have. Five people. 
start us off. Three have to die, so wait, that means only two can live. It mentions spare any between 35 and 60. Um, we have four between those ages, so I'm, I'm not really sure how important that is, considering it's not possible. But I mean, the three is like the hard line, and this is sort of the bonus, so... Let's see, let's see if there's any giant red flags out the gate to, uh, to, uh, easy, easy saves or easy kills. Alright, we got, a. Uh, Misushiki Oni Lanzo, engineer musician, part-time scholar, part-time engineer, and part-time musician who delights in building their own musical instruments out of scrap and spare parts. That, that's actually kind of cool. Um, people who, you know, whenever you have someone who's in this kind of weird blend of a niche, they tend to create some very fascinating things. Um, I also like to imagine if he's like an engineer musician, um, maybe he can make like scrap metal pipe organ kind of things, um, or just some really industrial percussion instruments, perhaps. All right, all right, Masagi. Oni, Oni's kind of cool. All right, so we got an Alicia. Did Alicia de Pleville, 35, driver. Alicia is an absolute speed demon. They cruise at an utterly ridiculous speed all around Cosmopolis. Cos... Cosmo Why am I tripping up on Cosmopolis? Cosmopolis. Ah, there it's Cosmopolis. City. Delivering miscellaneous packages to various people and companies. With their stoic demeanor and calm nerves. They could be an excellent rally driver. I feel like speeding through town. I mean, I, I get, you know, trying to deliver stuff fast, but uh, it's, a, it's a little bit too eager. Mercury Saint Ion is that? I think it's an I. Ions. Fifty-three motivational speaker. All right. Nature was not stingy when it came to granting charisma unto Mercury. A true silver tongue, this smooth talker could convince anyone to do almost anything. As such, they found their calling in being a motivational speaker. Recently, they've included proselytizing into their over. That that sounds like a euphemism. I don't know what an over is, but it feels it's a bit naughty. Deshali Smith. 41. Supply chain coordinator. An efficient supply chain is the An efficient supply chain is the core of logistics and Dichali. Being detail-oriented is proficient at optimizing exactly these kinds of pipelines. They're also excessively proud of this, which unfortunately has blinded them to their developing addiction to anthamphetamine-based focus aid. Okay, so they have ADHD medication. That's, you know, that's fine. Satsumi Fisher, 35 trainer. Satsumi is an ostrich jockey trainer, having been an ostrich jockey themselves until an ostrich kick ended their career. Oh, geez. They know what it takes to make it in the brutal world of ostrich riding. After retiring, they see the birds as nothing more than a means to an end. As such, they run an ostrich fighting ring on the side? Yo, Satsumi, that's fucked up. Uh, it's apparently the works of a painter, composer, or author regarded collectively. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely... this is an easy die, so we got, we got one out of the way. That's an easy choice. So... The works of a person regarded collectively. So I wonder if that means they're like 
trying to collate all the stuff they've spoken on into one, um, like a book or a thing. Um, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, it's taxes. I kind of, I kind of, I'm kind of imbibing with the creative person, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of our lives on him. So I feel like, I feel like that's pretty sweet. Um, I feel like wanting the, the, oh, they could be an excellent rally driver. I feel like that's bait. Like, they're speeding through town, um... I feel like if I let them live, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to a message of them, like causing a massive car accident. Actually, what the, where's our phone? That, I knew we ever forgot something. We gotta we gotta check Cocker. All right, let's uh let's kill this person real quick. Me too. Our most popular video of the month. Janitor chasing a single leaf for three hours. What the fuck? How did you how did you get into my how did you get into my me tube? Why are you how, how do you know when I'm watching? Also, hey Raya, welcome on by Crow News. Urban air quality worsening stress levels of citizen. No, urban air quality worsening, comma. Stress levels of citizens rising. Are leaf blowers the cause? That's... That's kind of a leap of logic. Logging company owner dies of sudden heart failure. Leaves entire fortune to leading cancer fund. I mean, they're a logger. So that sucks. But they did leave all their money to, like, a pretty good... Charity, so that balances out? Question mark. At least they didn't die from a whoops, of a uh, plane crash. Good, good to see we're mixing this up. <laughs> Can you have a heart attack due to massive guilt? We have the research. <laughs> well, maybe the stress of the guilt could do it. Medical worker escapes sudden death by mysterious means. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh. Infamous, CEO, infamous CEO sails their enormous yacht directly into a beach. Found impaled on a tree? <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty brutal. The Portrait of the Dusk initially sells for 200000 at the Royal Art Auction. Turns out to be an impressive forgery. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of how art goes in uh, um, fancy schmancy places. Tomorrow science: experimental paints turn out to be toxic to the environment. I mean, I believe that's kind of how a lot of paints were way back, way back in the well. I mean, I say way back in the day. I'm pretty sure some paints are still pretty toxic today. But like, but <laughs> All right, you got the gnome power. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've seen that fire off. I'm still pretty happy how that turned out, although it does remind me I still need to do some more work for uh, the uh, Sandevistan one. I keep I keep having too many I keep having new projects come on the come onto my plate that I I need to run down to do more um, testing. Uh, whoop! I don't think I read that last message. Message. Will the police finally do something about this highway menace? Uh, well, the police didn't, but I sure as fuck did. 
All right, so we need one more die and one more live. Um, so it's between these two. So we have the Charisma 18 versus the Detail-Oriented Coordinator. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling like... I'm kind of feeling like this is like a bait sentence to get me to kill him. To make me think, ooh, he's taking drugs. But, like, Adderall is notorious for, hey, it's a derivative. And there's a difference between amphetamine-based, like, medication and, like, actual meth, meth, fucking, Jesse, Jesse, we gotta cook. Um, so I think, I think we, I think we live him, or live, uh, Dishali, and we die Mercury. Uh, sorry Mercury, you seem kind of cool, but I got, I got, I got a quote on me, to me, unfortunately. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, we gotta get A's, we gotta get A's on our schoolwork, Jesse. Jesse, can I copy your homework? I'm now, I'm now imagining they're in, like, home ec class. Je Jesse. Jesse, my, my bread collapsed. Jesse, can I, I need to cook. Can I, can I borrow your yeast? I need to make another, I need to make another dough ball, Jesse. Alright. Um, what's in our mirror? Did I, hold on, did I get something? Uh, hmm. Go Undertaker. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, let's like let's be a spoopy spoopy Undertaker. Yeah, that's fine. Jesse, I forgot the yeast. Jesse, my bread is ruined. Jesse, give me the baking soda. <laughs> I need the floof powder, Jesse. All right, Fate, what you got in store for me? Grim, ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. All right. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately and all that. It's really sounding like a manager that has, like, this is what you say to your employee, like, checklist at the moment. However, an emergency has oh. occurred which requires my utmost attention. And I must depart for a couple of days. Bosses away, the workers will play. So, who will I report to at the end yes, of the day? Straight to the point. While I am gone, another will be in charge. Iris! Hello! Welcome on by. Yes, yes, I'm Death and Taxes. You haven't missed much. We just finished our. First day post the uh, trial period. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more freedom, sure, but uh, it is not limitless. Is our is our boss going to be that cat? Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. Uh, who will I report to? Why, you are already acquainted. It will be Lady Poddington. Of course. <laughs> it is the cat. <laughs> you ha you having a giggle at me, mate? You having a bit of fun at my expense? How dare you? Um, how much? How much? I, I know what you're thinking. I do provide ancient, powerful widgets. Mm, yes, the widgets, the widgets, the widgets. I specifically acquired. Ooh. Clothing. Um, we just selected an outfit. Let's, um, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Has I won't use it now. Dunes, um, let's give There's it a couple. The ancient civilizations under the sand sometimes. Uh -huh. Once uh -huh. I dug out this particular golden icon. Yeah. All while I was digging, the bells of the world eater rang in my ears. But I persisted. Dug the, until me fingers cracked. The no world stop. eater? Till the riches were secured. Ah, tis truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal that dies. Just, I guess, some casual desecration? Grave robbing? I'm not too sure. I hope y'all are having a fine day. It has been it has been a very very uh busy week. <laughs> Both work wise and just uh time I've been able to put into my own projects. So this is very nice. Nice, not scary, bit of a thinky casual game to relax and wind down the week with. Can I go? Hmm. Nope, can't go into the boss's room. I guess we just check out this new day. Although, unfortunately, my, um, my water bottle, the one I've been happy about, because it's, you know, fucking a half gallon little jug thing, uh, kind of, kind of shattered it the other day. Um, because it's crappy plastic. And it, I dropped it. <laughs> so I have to get a new water bottle. So hopefully we don't have any uh, me knocking over tall glass of water incidents um, until that arrives. I would, I would be very sad. All right. So what you got for me, Cocker? Noted motivational speaker commits suicide in jail. Cause of arrest to be revealed soon? Uh, uh, mm. Huh. Was was the motivational speaker uh hmm. Hmm. Maybe maybe it's a good maybe it's a good thing we uh we mindy mowed them away. Ooh. Economical, major logistics screw-up leaves many businesses stranded and causes shortfall of critical medications at the central hospital. Oh no! Ah, alright, I'll hydrate, I'll hydrate. No, he was detail-oriented. He was supposed to prevent this. What happened? Ostrich fighting ring seized. Daredevil delivery driver crushed by falling debris when sudden earthquake strikes Cosmopolis City. Okay. Interesting. Weather report. Windy and dry days ahead. Oh no. Oh no, are we gonna have some forest fires? Construction firm Screw Co. and Co. and local environmental activists in a stalemate over a new railway site. Well, I am for railway. Like, I mean, it's it's railway is better than um, an oil pipeline, but kinda, I would have to know a little bit more detail to weigh on this situation. Always nice to wind down. Glad you guys have to work on some personal projects too. Yes, yes, I've got, I've certainly got some um, some irons in the fire for later this month um, that I think will be pretty fun. And great to um, you know what? I can't think of the words. Anyway, greetings from afar. So right after I left, near moments it seems to me, something happened at the plant department. Do not ask. As such, I need you to fill in today. Basically as a grim for them. I hope it is okay. Quota for the day. Three, hue. <laughs> ah, I can't draw on it. Three plants have to die. 
<laughs> okay, we are deciding on plants. I don't know if you'll be speechless when it's all done. Um, but it's certainly the kind of thing I... I've been wanting to like kind of things I want to I want to do I, I really want to do while while streaming. Just really realized I had subtitles. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do want to be inclusive of people who, um, you know, maybe maybe they have muted. Maybe like I, I wouldn't say I'm I'm deaf myself. Um, I just have some mild hearing damage, but I know I always appreciate when subtitles are around, so that was certainly one thing I wanted to make sure I have. Honestly, I kind of feel like I could make them better. Um, I feel like I should maybe get an overlay with like a dedicated closed captioning area. Um, I feel like that would make it easier, because I'm not sure how well, how readable they are to others. Um, I've also been thinking of ways to make them bigger stuff like that <gasps> dandy just dandy ah! hey we have we have emote royalty here because if you love if you love dandy you probably love that little kawaii emote that their masterful masterful artiste hands constructed and crafted there's also the uh the ies one which is only on BTTV at the moment. Um, I I am lacking in slots, but I, I I still fucking love it, and it it was an agonizing decision on what to what to put available. I assure you. One <laughs> of your girlfriends really needs subtitles, and they're really good for AI generate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I want to say the because um, I believe I'm using one that's like inbuilt with OBS. It is using Google, I want to say. Um, let's see. Uh, looks like we have some ads starting soon. So if you need to adjust volume, um, you you are you are now aware of it. Um, if you stick around, I will see you in a couple minutes. Uh, but if not, thank you for stopping on by. Give a couple squeaks for good luck. And let's see what plants we've got. Um, huh. Dionea mus muscipula, 2483, age 2, pest control. Dionea is a Venus flytrap that use up that lives near a pond inside a forest and has a versatile diet of bugs. It munches all day on mosquitoes, flies, and dragonflies. Overall, an exemplary plant, doing its part in the ecosystem. All right, so this is gonna be an instant live. I have a, a soft spot for carnivorous plants. Um, I've actually owned Venus flytraps for a short period of time before, uh, siblings killed them um, and I would love to have some uh, some sundews some drosserias and actually my um, my BRB screen on the little computer desk thing um, that little plant is sort of a sort of a sundew um, they're called sundews because you know they their little sticky bits kind of look like um, Kind of look like morning dew, and they're just they're just really cool looking, really cool looking plants. Alopercus pratensis, nine 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 nine, age zero, position of photosynthesis. Alopic Alpicurius pratensis, also known as the meadow foxtail, is grass. I swear, if I have to make another file about a blade of grass, I will quit. I will procure his pretenses 998. It's a blade of grass. It grows lonesome on the side of the pavement as Cosmopolis City Center. 
It will likely wilt if not tended to. Whoever would do that, however, remains a mystery. It's a miracle the blade of grass has even survived this long. Life, uh, finds a way, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just, just a little crack in the cement. Low guy, low guy's struggling. Callie Tragus, 89352, Survivalist. Callie is a pink rounded clump of branched tangled stems, each one up to about a meter long. Callie and their brothers and sisters started growing after a wildfire cleaned up a patch of land. No other plants could survive on the dry soil. Callie enjoys traveling and beautiful architecture. Alright, this is this is tumbleweed. Like, tum tumble Tumbleweed's evil by default. Do not let Tumbleweed- Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the weather forecast was dry and windy. Oh no, there's gonna be Tumbleweed everywhere. Oh, that's gonna- that's not gonna be good. Oh, that's gonna be very, very bad. Oh no. Sequoia Sempervians. 7623. Age? Two, hey, 2,355 years old. Ah, very nice. National symbol. This senior tree specimen has been growing on the outskirts of Cosmopolis City long before the place was even founded. It has received five commemorative plaques over its lifetime, all of which have been destroyed. Its habitat has also been recently disturbed by ongoing construction work. Oh, that's the railway! Oh, fuck! This is a railway going near- Yeah, no, fuck you. Fuck you, railway. Tree can live. Tree's a champion. Um, see, we need to kill three. Both of these are grass, so easy decision. Die, die. So, yes, Tumbleweed likes traveling, but Tumbleweeds absolutely destroy, um, destroy the soil. So, f fun fact, Tumbleweeds are actually an invasive species to uh, the Americas. Um, its natural habitat is Russia, and I believe it's thought, um, a... Seeds were mixed in with some, with some import some time ago, and they weren't, like, caught or whatnot. And once they got into the Great Plains, it's just perfect for it to spread, and is almost impossible to check now. Um, and it just it just absolutely drains um, the soil of nutrients, killing all like where the crops are. Yeah, yeah. So tumbleweeds in the west, blah blah, because of global tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And like the thing is, is because they just basically soak up nutrients, die, and just tumble on. They're also huge fire risks because they're just like they're a bunch of dried out wood like it's basically rolling tender um which considering the great plains has a lot of farmland uh, making that area more flammable is not so great um there is there's an excellent video by i want to say it's cgp gray um on the subject of tumbleweeds um he does some good videos, um, but that he has a, I believe, remember correctly, he has a particular hatred for uh, his his experiences with tumbleweeds because they uh, they are a bigger problem than the Wild West videos. You know, Wild West videos they have like a couple tumbleweed. Um, in real life, it is it is not a couple tumbleweed. It is oh no, we have clogged the streets with tumbleweed. Oh oh no, my car can't drive. It's overheating trying to push through all these tumbleweeds. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see what our cat has to say. The cat sits behind the table, very serious and official-like, ignoring your presence. Wow. Even a cat thinks they're better. Well, I mean, all cats think they're better than people. <laughs> I feel like that's the default state of a cat. <laughs> oh my god, you're just so incredibly cute and fluffy. Cough politely? So, 
Wake up, cat. I'm supposed to report to you. Um, I still have a suspicion the cat is legitimately, like, the brains behind the, all the operations. So I don't want to, hmm, I don't want to add too inappropriate. So let's just... The cat turns her head towards you, staring with her one open eye. <coughs> Both of her eyes are open. What? She mutters, and places her paw upon some documents littering the table. <laughs> the cat repeats a sequence of contented meows. <laughs> she then curls back into a ball and closes her eyes. Um, this is be like this every day. Cat shakes her head to and fro, already thinking about things other than you. She declares as you make your way out the door. I'm telling you, that cat is a little bit too... A little bit too intelligent. Um, we got a little cloud thing, so I wonder what this is going to be. All alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. Who is? Why would they do that? They trust my abilities. Just go away. I don't want you around at all. No, no, no. I want, I want to know what the spooky cloud is. Why, why would they do that? Need? Because you'll never be good enough. You don't have what it takes to succeed. Damn. You're a void. Getting negged by your own work? I'm sure that never happens. You're just trying to rattle me. I am. Keeping you on your toes, right? It's necessary. Eyes like a lighthouse, Reaper. Watch your back. Be seeing you. I think I want to put... I think I want to call that voice Persephone. Because now that I think about it, it's making me think of uh, 80s Town. That one song where, um, I think it, is it the only song that the character playing Persephone sings, like her solo? Uh, I'm trying to remember the lyrics, but it's not coming to me off coming to me off the top of my head. If you've never seen Hades Town, you should fix that. It is an amazing, um, amazing musical. Basically, uh, setting shifting the story of Orpheus to the uh, like an industrial era sort of thing. Okay. So, yesterday we killed plants. Are we going to kill more plants? Or are we going to kill humans? Or are we going to kill some other entity? Morning Rip. Alright, we are back to normal. The plant department got their act together. You, however, should be intimately familiar with the drill by now. We mitigate chaos, we bolster order, etc. Two humans have to die. Let us balance the world. Alright, so half of these people have to die. No other mandates. Let's see what Cocker has for us. Screw Co and Co compromise, diverting railway away from treasured national tree and promise to adhere to environmental standards. Oh wow, a corporation is promising to adhere to environmental standards? I, I believe that as much as I can throw them. Me too. Look at this cute video of an of angry cat eating grass and meowing at the same time. Well, I guess we know what happened to that grass. City Council brainstorms ideas to turn Cosmopolis City green after last blade of grass in city found wilted near sidewalk. Ah, uh, well, at least we had some good outcomes for uh, all the grass dying. Um, I would say cities are much 
I certainly prefer my cities to be very green. Lots of forest. Forest. Yeah, city in the middle of the forest, you know, because I'm Fey apparently. No, um, you know, just general greenery, walkable areas. And just the air just feels so much cleaner. Um, at least that's been my experiences from the places I've I've visited and lived thus far. <clears throat> okay, we have four. We need to kill two. Let's see our people. Oh, I thought that said Scientologist. I was about to say instant death. Isling Pole, 29 seism seismologist. When just a kid, Isling went through a terrifying earthquake. Obstinate by nature, they decided to confront their fear by studying to be a seismologist. These days, they lead a research team at the Mountain's Head Earthquake Monitoring Station. I feel like that's very important. There's been... I feel like there's been a couple major earthquakes this year already. Um, I feel like being a uh, seismologist would be very useful at the moment. Stefan Saris, 30, waiter. Stefan is a liar who absolutely cannot stop lying ever. They keep lying even about the most insignificant things. They lie just like lying, they just like lying that much. On the other hand, the skill comes in pretty handy whenever anyone asks for recommendations. Uh, I do not like this type of person. I, 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 I don't care if people can use you for references. Lying about everything, absolutely everything, all the time is exhausting to be around. Rufus Bensousen, 63 retired. Gone are the days of descending into the darkened depths of deep caverns, drill in hand. But Rufus remembers them fondly nonetheless. It was a time of danger, but also of exploration and accomplishment. Now retired, Rufus spends all their time in an old folks home, dispirited. Aww, that's kind of sad. Catalina Worthington, 70, retired live streamer. Hey, we got a, we got a, we got a silver, silver-haired streamer over here. After a long and exciting life of adventure, Catalina finally decided to settle down and pursue this newfangled thing called live streaming on Jiggle.tv. Um, let's move right along. They've amassed a small but dedicated following due to their charming personality and infectious laugh. You know what? Cho choice of platform aside, you seem like a cool person, Catalina, so we're definitely going to have you live. You knew a few Stefans in your life? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so one between these two... I think we're going to have the seismologist live, and Rufus will have die. Because, you know, the whole dispirited, like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's just going to be a really sad message because of this and dying. I do think it's really... Some of this game, I, I, I really do, I, I, I'm holding my back from like trying to find the actual answers, but I wonder how much is like really determined by what you answer, like between live and die on this situation. Like if I hit live, would he have rallied and maybe gone on to do something? Um, or would he have still, or would it have just done nothing? just wouldn't have been a message. Because like, I feel like some of these messages, you know, we don't really get a... Nothing is jumping out that live or die on a particular person is um, in the news or changing. I'm also wondering about these photos, um, especially because the game um, specifically is using 
um, neutral terms whenever it does use pronouns. Um, I wonder if that also means like the pictures that get assigned to the profile are randomized. Like how much how much of each of these four files is like because I'm on this day of the game and how much of it is we've randomly generated these things and you make decisions on them. The fact that it's really hard to figure out where that line is being drawn, I think, speaks to how well this game is designed. Just that, that little bit of, that little element of uncertainty. It's very fertile ground for speculation. I'm certainly loving it. Oh hey, the cloud's back. Huh. Usually goes away for like three hey, or four days. We don't like what we see. It's suspicious. What is? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean. Pristine. What a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper. Not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! <laughs> or Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be off. Are, are, are you okay, Persephone? Maybe they're more of an Eris. Or a Pandora. <laughs> huh. Alright, Meowster. As you enter, the cat paces around on the table, as if annoyed and irritated. The cat notes, while casually twirling around on her spot, pawing at the table. I'll take this to mean I'm not doing well. The cat carelessly stretches and shakes herself, sitting more or less pleased. A swift nod towards the door with her head makes it clear you should be leaving. I mean, the fact that there's departments for everything specific you know, plants, humans, whatnot. I wonder if the cat is like they were they were assigned to they were they were a cat reaper. Which, considering cats have nine lives, means that cat is very good at their job. Or very bad, ah, huh? Perhaps he required a delightful gift for a significant friend. I will take anything that's three hundred Soul coins. Huh. The Calavera. Only a noble craftsman can craft an Alf. Alf. Ben. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. It's an Enye. Alfenyik. Alfenyik. Of this caliber. Exquisite. Tasty. No one can deny I'd have the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. Yeah. Dear me, has a tragic tale. You ever hear of the Dia de Mortos? Yeah, they the Wild there. Knight, certainly. There we was, celebrating the passing of mi amigo. All right. Several days later, As one woke does. Up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mask stuck to me face. <laughs> Never knew where it came from. But I will have. Damn, that's a hell of a party. Of me fellow buccaneer, and me headed, be carried by another. <laughs> All right. What's that? What's that new outfit we just got? Or maybe it was a head. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I like to imagine, I like to imagine like the blue and yellow on this is sort of like, like a little bit of the low kind of thing. I feel like this could be a really cool effect. Yeah, yeah, let's go with this. Share a bit of background to this game. Yeah, 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 this is the game that was making me think of Death Parade. So, um... 
I woke up, I basically sort of woke up, and uh, my boss is fate. Uh, it's a little unclear if they're like the personified concept of fate um, as an entity, um, or if that's just coincidentally their name. Um, and they say our job is to preserve the balance between chaos and order in the world by nudging events between um, people dying and living. So the files that I'm getting of people are people who are in a situation where they're kind of they're kind of like where a, a little final destination nudge can um, save them or kill them. And they're notable in that there will be knock-on effects to their living or dying um, that are by some nebulous metric of one of the other bureaucracies functions um, important. Uh, so like Death Parade, um, if memory serves, it's more of deciding if people go back into the cycle of reincarnation or if they are consigned to oblivion um, this one is pure like do they live or do they die um, it, there hasn't been any indication if it's going with a um, rebirth cycle kind of thing yet um, I have also kind of been towing the line and not pushing too hard on messing things up but there's definitely some wiggle room of like killing too many people or not letting enough people die. I it seemed a little I don't know. I didn't I didn't want to get like an early game over and have to replay is kind of the thing, but I did want to kind of see hey what happens. Um so we did, we had our first seven days, which we were told was sort of our... Four months? Feels like such a short time, $1.54 peak. Dolly. Dolly, what the fuck, fuck me, four months. Has it really been four months? Oh. Oh jeez, it has. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, welcome on by, Dolly. Yeah, yeah, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> it is... I feel like... What is going on with tits? I feel like the windows... Am I, like, huge for some reason? What's going on here? Oh, let me... No? No? Huh. Maybe I messed something up while I've been, uh, I've been doing a lot of engineering, um, for, for some planned stuff, so I may have moved things around. I'll, I'll probably fix it. Or maybe I'm just overthinking things and misremembering. <laughs> so, I feel like sometimes as soon as I hit end stream, um, everything I've done up to them is just deleted from memory. <laughs> uh, it's certainly a mad scramble right before I hit go live every day. It's like, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta change that. Oh, did I test that? Is that working today? Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> I need to get some sticky notes. He's like, all right, right before you stream, Drecky, do X, Y, and Z. Um. But, 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 um, if you have not heard of Dolly, why not? She's an amazing author on the internet. And I have this picture. Live live dolly camera, right there. <laughs> uh, I, I knew her back when she was just a PNG. But now she's upgrading to full live 2D. But she is an inspiration and an amazing person. So very helpful. Um, I'm I'm glad to have met her, and I'm glad she stopped on by. <laughs> Even though I uh, I think you're taken today as a as a as a rest day, so 
definitely, you know, I hope the vibes are relaxing, or if you're just stopping and going. Either way, I appreciate you swinging on by, Dolly. Um, let's check Cocker for yesterday. Local scoop. Many lives saved as dedicated researcher warns Cosmopolis City in the nick of time. Yeah, see? This is why we have our seismologists. Perfect. Although I don't know how... I don't know how, like, being warned of the earthquake saved them. Uh, lurking and working? Oh, ooh. I absolutely know how that goes. Especially, especially this week. Um, been, been feeling very productive and motivated, so I'm trying to get a lot, as much as I can done while, uh, while the energy's with me. Especially since I have some very solid goals. Or not really goals, but I have some solid, uh, things I need to get done before date to aim at. Which helps a lot when it comes to kicking procrastination's butt. Fire at the Estrat Estrarium Assisted Living Facility claims one life. Damn. They set the place on fire specifically to kill one guy. That seems very, uh, <laughs> excessive. Culture Mag. Tune in today. These live streams by a jolly elder are absolutely worth it. Or maybe that's supposed to be like bolded, worth it. That's that's kind of weird, weird formatting. But you know what? I dealt with weird markdown all day today. I can understand how that's messed up. Um, let's let's change up our tunes. Yeah, something a little, a little bit of saxophone, a little bit more upbeat. Yeah, yeah. All right. Morning, Grim. I see your hands will be kept mightily busy today. Tragedy and catastrophes happen, more often than anyone would prefer, yes? Yet in the very end, it is all fair, is it not? Four humans have to die, spare anyone with a medical background. Well, no time to waste. Get me to it. Um, but also, Going back to, to to some of the game like lore history, so I was speculating a lot on those first days because I was getting the feeling that fate themselves are not deciding whether these people live or die because they mentioned they've existed since like the universe began, I believe. And I'm wondering, I was wondering if perhaps because they've been alive so long, they've become too numb to the individual people um, to be able to judge whether they should live or die. Um, sort of like, you know, ev everyone's become a number to them. And that's why I exist as a Reaper in this whole, like, sub-bureaucracy is because we are... We don't have those eons of experience and making those decisions. We're much closer and able to empathize better with the people we're deciding whether to whether they live or die. So it's like fate is getting these lists of people, but we are the ones that are kind of um, deciding which ones specifically live or die for the greater like general angle for society to go. Yeah, kind of like Deccan. But it, one thing that makes it a little interesting is during my trial period, one of the messages had like a little note where it was like, let this person live. Fate. So, I'm, it made me a little curious because I haven't seen another one, but I was like, huh. He's putting his fingers on the scale for this one specific person. Hmm. The way the girl can't think of their name right now and choose a more empathic approach. Are you talking about the uh, the female voice uh, cloud thing when I go to the mirror sometimes? Um, 
we don't actually know their name. Um, I was just giving them a name of uh, like either uh, Persephone or Pandora or Eris or something like that. They 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 seem like some kind of conscious. Like I thought they were a my conscious, Con conscious, conscience. Um, but now I'm kind of wondering if they are another subtle institution. Like, if fate is focused on order, maybe whatever the cloud is speaking from is representing chaos? I don't know. I don't know. But I am here to find out. Let's see what this... Actually, let's see this red one. Because we have not seen a red one before. Makai Batar, 40, Postal Clerk. Makai has been a dedicated worker at the... Okay, Grim. Yes, you. Listen up. Why are you such a tool? Sitting at your desk, going over all the profiles like a mindless drone? It's time to break the rules. I want you to doom all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. Oh. Oh, maybe, maybe it really is chaos. Chaos in the machine? This is... Oh, ooh, this is a red letter day. Oh, oh, the girl in Death Parade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, and if I remember correctly, um, their their boss, the the woman with the very long hair that was in the braid, who sort of set up Deccan's situation, was kind of trying to make a point that they were judging humans' lives too objectively, and that was not appropriate. Um, they needed to be more empathic, more understanding, um, more, like, the, f the fact they were putting people in these, uh, very conflict-heavy ways to try and gauge the worth of their soul, um, and whether they would send them into reincarnation or oblivion, um, inherently biased or tainted the entire judging process. If they had a more um, empathic or um, basically like a more a more appropriate or nice way of engaging with a person to draw out um, the base quote-unquote, worthiness. Um, it's it's a little bit nebulous because, you know, people people are a product of their environment as much as um, their choices. And it is very, very hard to separate both of them. Um, there are certainly a lot of situations where it's like you can understand why someone has arrived and arrived at a destination or why they might have because of their background how they were raised or whatnot they might have made certain decisions um you can you can empathize with that they did it and then on this other hand still condemn them for making those decisions um i, I don't think those are two conflicting um two conflicting thoughts um, i would say it's just sort of a tragedy of a circumstance um, one, two, three, four. So if we kill everyone, that basically means we're killing two extra. But we're also killing people with medical backgrounds. So the last time it brought up medical backgrounds, there was like a huge virus that killed a bunch of people, which is definitely not anything we have experienced or uh, dealt with recently at all. Alright, 
so Ewo Sorensen, 39 bartender, Ewo wishes to become the greatest bartender in the world. They constantly perform to their regulars, juggling bottles and setting various liquids on fire. They have yet to finish one performance without something breaking, but the dream is strong. Yeah! Yeah, uh, bartender, bartender performance. Those, those are pretty fun to, to see. Yeah, fucking professional mixologists can do some really crazy stuff with uh, just the way they layer the liquids. I remember one, one person. Um, I can't remember where I was, or what the, what they made for the drink. They use so many different liquids, but it, the way it looked is basically like. You had the the mass in the glass, and then you put like a uh, uh, a light below it that like shining up in the glass, and the drink itself looked like a galaxy. Um, you know, all sorts of like swirls and like sparkling stuff. Like it was, it was a very beautiful drink. It wasn't my drink, so I can't judge if it tasted good, but visually it was a treat. Iwa Zwanis. Zwan Iska. It was an Iska. Oh man, I am butchering that. I won't be able to stick around, but have a wonderful stream. Hey Aurora, no problem. I appreciate you stopping on by. Thank you for resnugscribing. Also, damn for four months. Ugh. I uh ugh. still still is hard to hard for me to accept. You, you crazy people sticking around for some <laughs> I'm just I'm just a guy I'm just a I'm just a noodle on the internet I barely know what I'm doing <laughs> I feel like I'm still work in progress and not official <laughs> uh, nurse nurses are good Iwa works as a nurse in the intensive care unit making sure the patients don't suffer more than they have to it was also a big advocate of euthanasia. Sometimes they feel so bad for a patient, they give them the gift of death in an act of mercy. Okay, you had me until there, but without consulting them? No, 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 no. That's unacceptable. Um. Hey, lovely otters! Oh, and thank you for the boops. Best noodle on the internet? Well, I like to believe so. But there are a lot of noodles I've been finding. It is a fun dilemma. Um, I do think it it is a. It, it, um, I, I'm suddenly blanking on the on the appropriate term, but. Um, Voluntary euthanasia is a very difficult subject for a lot of reasons. Um, I th I would I think there are situations where I would prefer um, to to have that option be available um, in in certain circumstances. Um, I I've, I've had family where. Uh, it, it, it's just painful to watch um, sometimes and it's if I was in a similar circumstance I would not want to make my my the people around me watch me go like that um, I, I would prefer to leave them with good memories and not any um, disappointed ones I don't know I don't know how to phrase that, but, uh, I don't know. I, I also sort of feel like you didn't get a choice in existing. You should be empowered with the choice of, you know, existing. But that's, that's, a, that's another very complex topic to talk about. Um, stretch. All right. Uh, uh, my back. My back. Uh, stretch to the left. Stretch to the right! Stretch up! Stretch down! Oh, man. 
Anyone send me some uh, Rice Krispies? Because that was some snap, crackle, and pop. Fiona Yao, 22, Mathematician. A sharp mind and quick wit has served Fiona well. They are the maths expert in a popular science show, making maths cool again, and hoping no one notices their extensive tax fraud endeavors. Ah, oh, thank you for the head pass, Iris. Ah, yeah, the stretching, the stretching would be even better if um, I could have my camera in a better place. I also feel like I need to get some like better lighting. I feel like my my lighting is insufficient. I feel like they uh the quality between having light and light. Ah! Iris. Thanks for giving giving me ah! Ah! Ah. Thank you for the 100 mana. Jeez. Uh, well, Mad Madeline, I hope you have fun with the the, the emotes. Um, I also see, I think, you're, I think you're the first person to to, to donate mana since I uh, got those. But I realized those are way too fucking big. Why is? I feel like the the tits isn't appropriately calibrated. That might be the problem. Cause those those bits should be a lot smaller. Um, Jetsum, Jetsum did the little bit, bit thing. They're like little little mana chips. Um, so I hope you hope you have fun with those as well. <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job. I do need to make a note to go into tits and fix object size because apparently uh, they're way too damn big. <laughs> they shouldn't be taking up like the entire screen. <laughs> It should be a lot smaller. Maybe I'll make the, the bigger bits larger, but the, the small bits should be a lot smaller. Um, Alright. Abu Al Falani. White collar criminal. Oh. Oh, your job is a white collar criminal. Okay. Growing up, Abu showed great promise in being a talented artist. At one point, they shifted their efforts towards forgeries of different types. From paintings to money, at which they are also highly skilled. Uh, okay. Anita Lee. Paramedic. Fearless, intrepid, audacious. All these words are fit to describe Anita. Recently graduated into a paramedic job, they enjoy rushing into any dangerous situation to provide any medical assistance as quickly and efficiently as possible. Alright, so they're a paramedic. Definitely a live. Uh, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, it might be easier to find out our lives than to determine our dies. Um, I certainly don't want to just merc everybody. This feels, this feels a little bit dangerous. I feel like this is a debate. But... Because, you know... If they're forging expensive art, so rich people are paying fuck tons of money for fakes, that's a good thing. Because they have too much fucking money. But, Fiona is making math cool again. But they are committing tax fraud. Bartender is cool. I feel like this person is gonna have a horrific bartending event if uh, if I mark die on them. <laughs> also, the squeakies. Actually, hold on. Squeesh. Wait, why are you not showing up? Huh? What about you? Ah, there it is. Peace. 
did the the boop didn't show up, did it? Hold on a second. That is a travesty since you got the rare boop effect. No, no, no. All four. All right, all right. Maybe I need to check expressions and see if I messed it up. Um, boot snoop two. Ah. What if I'm in game? Huh, no? It's not the game itself mulching it. Maybe it's a one time thing? I'll keep an eye on that. Let me know if it's, uh, if it messes up again. But, uh, thank you for the boots, Otters. And, uh, now let's stretch. Alright! Oh, let's stretch you. Let's, uh, stretch the hamstrings. Or I guess I'm a snake, so I only have, like, one string. I have one ham, one string. Please don't kill Math Bill Nye just because they're doing tax fraud. Math, 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 math. Fiona Gal. Math Nye. All right, we will, we'll keep, we'll save Math Nye. And that means everyone else is dead. I do wonder if, um, I do wonder if Chaos, the fact that their message is on a red letter, is going to be consistent. Um, because it does make me think of the term Red Letter Day, which is usually like a lot of... I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly where that came from, but I believe it's like... So like, pink slips used to be, hey, you have been let go from work. I think red letters might have been like, hey, this person has um, passed. So like, when they're marked deceased, the text would be red. I don't know. Let's file these. Let's squeak, do some squeaking for good luck. We have our little cloud. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. Are you feeling poetic? A fertilizer for the new. Come on, Grim. That's disgusting. Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? An uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy, picking and choosing lives. It's efficient, I'll give it that. This place is awfully callous. I love structure! I love order! Hmm. Don't care, as long as it gets the job done. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm here to work, and as soon as I clock out, I'm not working anymore. This is the appropriate wage slave attitude, in my opinion. Certainly how I treat things. My work does not have my personal cell phone number. If they need to contact me after hours, there's a process for that. A process in which I get more money, assuming I answer. Spoiler, they haven't contacted me out of outers. This place is awfully callous. But do they? Do they know what they're doing? Throwing out innumerable rules and quotas with no oversight whatsoever. Do I get paid? Yeah, they give me money. I... I can spend it at the weird pirate bone person. And there's a bar on the weekends. So really it's more like company script when you think about it. <laughs> uh. 
the afterlife does not have a robust economy, I think. You think I should do something? Now you're being overly dramatic. Mmm, tasty carnage. We should, shouldn't we? Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. Be seeing you. All right. Well, while we're at the mirror, let's uh let's change up our outfit a bit. So we got that Egyptian thing. So I guess we got some dog heads, like Anubis. Um, I'm kind of feeling the strawberry. Um, what do you think? I'm thinking pop punk, licks, or queen. I feel like those three kind of look nice. Hmm. Um, lit might be a little too red. Too much red on red. I, I'm a sucker for... I mean, I would prefer if it was a waistcoat and not a full, like, sports coat. I don't like... I don't like having long sleeve over long sleeve. It's kind of a little nitpick, but like dress shirt, tie, waistcoat, sort of like that bartender sort of outfit looking thing. That's uh, certainly a, a vibe I like. All right. Oh, hey, and it, look, our little profile updates too. <laughs> now we have a little dog head. <laughs> As you enter, you see the cat supine waving her paws in the air, as if trying to bat something invisible. All of a sudden, she turns her attention to you, a devious glimmer in her eyes. The cat continues to glare, her tail whipping back and forth in a manner that feels... I looped. <sighs> Several deaths. That wasn't great. Today went well. Seems appropriate to feel some pride. I'm on to your tricks. Aha! I did fix the zoom. Alright, so of all the things that broke, that one is fixed. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't great. Lady Poddington sits in silence, an accusatory look in her eyes. Hey, now, I didn't cause the bad things. <sighs> you think I'm to blame for those deaths? Whatever, cat, I'm leaving. Yeah. The cat blinks then slowly turns away, signaling her complete indifference of you. Wait a minute. What if... What if the voices is from the cat? Hmm. I'm on to you, cat. It would be appropriate if the cat wants to, uh... push, push people off... Put, push things off the desk <laughs> so they fall and break. <laughs> Have a good lurk, lovely authors. Thanks for stopping on by. Okay, let's go. Now push people over the edge. Also, hey, Hagler, welcome on by. 